Welcome back to the land of unpopular opinions and today I can't believe it's been this long we are actually doing the unpopular opinions book tag this is literally my channel tag tagline so I have no idea why it took me this long to do it but I am very excited because I like spilling the tea and I very much like making people angry on booktube because I disagree with almost everyone pretty much all of the time so Let's just get into it and I hope you find some enjoyment out of this. If you like negative videos, <laughs> then you are welcome here. Everyone is accepted because I quite literally have very unpopular opinions. So whatever you may have, you are welcome. The first tag is popular book series or book that you disliked, but everyone else obviously did. And for this, I have a sort of cliche answer, I mean, for me at least, but it needs to be talked about. So, here we have, obviously, Six of Crows. I'm not gonna talk too much about this because I already said that I disliked it, but yes, I think I've se seen no one on Booktube who actually disliked this series. And it annoys me a little bit. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. So yeah, definitely Six of Crows, you can attack me. Then I have multiple answers for this because apparently today I'm eager to make people angry, have City of Brass. Also, I've seen no one on booktube at least talk badly about this book. I feel like everyone's worshiping it right now. Everyone's starting to read it. I see it everywhere and I just couldn't stand it. I mean, the ending and the beginning were a little bit interesting, but it was so mind-numbingly dull and difficult to read in the be in the middle that every time someone just talks about it in the radio, I skip. I can't even listen about this book anymore. And that is all I will say on that. And there's also Mistborn, <laughs> which I read, didn't finish. Not even sure where the book is. I think it's like on my trash pile somewhere buried. Yeah, I'm not even gonna... <laughs> display it out here because we don't acknowledge the existence of that book in my house anymore and there's another one that i want to talk to i think i'm using this for this prompt and that is demon king I read it in my last vlog watch that if you want some salty thoughts i'm not gonna ruin this video by just bashing all the books <laughs> heavily right now but yes this book was just crap <laughs> in every possible imaginable way that you could think of so I have no idea who published this and then said yeah let's make it popular so goodbye and these are the four books that I truly didn't like and I feel like everyone reads about them and everyone and the mother thinks they are the greatest books ever written and I couldn't stand any of them I <laughs> didn't even finish one of them and one of them is by my favorite author, so it's irony all around. I'm trying not to be too salty while talking about them, which is why I'm not commenting too much. But let me know if you would be interested in a true video on books that I hate and why I hate them. So just for now, these are books that are really popular, I disliked, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't recommend any of them, <laughs> though I know everyone has already read them. So. That is kind of a moot point. The next prompt is books that you loved but everyone else doesn't seem to. And I don't have that many for these because I don't think I love books that people dislike. I think I can love books that people have never heard of. <laughs> that can happen but I don't think I like some really hated books except for these. The Grisha Trilogy. Don't know why I didn't pick up the first one but yeah these books. I feel like everyone hates them. Everyone loves to hate them, but it's genuinely in my top 10 favorite series of all time, so I'm not going to argue with people, obviously, because I seem to be in the minority, and I love them with all my heart. All three of them, they make me happy. I love everything about them, the world, the magic, the characters, everything. Just, yes, this is, this is my shit. And I adore them and I think this is the only one that I truly have because others I wouldn't really count as disliked. For example, I thought of Winter Night, but 
I don't think that's disliked, it's just not <laughs> as talked about, which isn't really disliked. So this one is really the only one that came to mind for this prompt. And the next one is a love triangle that you think <laughs> ended wrong. And I know everyone uses the Grish trilogy for this, which I thoroughly disagree with, but for love triangle I have an old classic for me at least, which is Red Queen. This... <laughs> now, I think that it's atrocious. I only read it because of one character. We established this. But I do think the love triangle could have been better <laughs> if certain characters were respected and given the arcs that they deserve. But yeah, in the end, the love triangle turned into something that I couldn't even think about. I just wanted to <laughs> throw up every time I thought about this actually being a love triangle. But no, yeah, the way it wraps up in book four, I definitely don't think it should have ended differently because a certain character didn't deserve a certain character, but yeah, this had so much potential. I remember reading book three and being like, this could actually go in the direction that I want it to, and it didn't. So, yeah, I am still a little bit salty. It's been years. <laughs> it's been literal years. And I also have another one, which also could be controversial, and that one is The Remnant Chronicles. I picked up the last book <laughs> because that's where the resolution is. I know this is romance heavy. I'm aware. But... Considering that certain things happen towards the end of the book, I thought there would be no love triangle. That this was a romance heavy book that ended in a way that I really respected and liked. But then it didn't. The last, the last chapter literally just ruined everything for me. And all the respect that I could have had for this book just left the building. So, yeah, I my conclusion for this book without any spoilers is she should have ended up alone. And I would have respected it. So there's the thoughts for the Remnant Chronicles. Just wh why? Why the last chapter? <laughs> I already hated the ending enough, but this just decimated it for me. The next prompt is genre that you barely reach for. And I mean, crime, mystery, and sci-fi. I've been sort of dabbling into sci-fi recently. I mean, I'm reading Dune right now. And... I'm reading the Star Wars books, which counts as sci-fi, and I'm gonna read Asimov, but yeah, I don't really don't really read sci-fi, though I would like to. That's it for that prompt. And romance, definitely. I would never, ever, ever in my life reach for romance. Then beloved character you dislike. I have so many, so many options for this. Let me just bring back these two books because they're relevant. I mean we have Cal. Where's the personality, dude? <laughs> Where is it? It has left the chat because you have none, and I don't think I could possibly hate you more, but there's also the main character, so it's sort of a contest between those two. And then we have an unpopular opinion that I don't wanna, <laughs> don't wanna really talk about, but Nikolai, that's why I'm holding this up. Nikolai, I hate his guts. Like, I don't really want him to die, but I wouldn't really care if he did. I have a lot of unpopular opinions <laughs> in regards to the Grisha trilogy, I think. Not only do I love the books, but Nikolai is my least favorite part of it, and I think that's the only thing that people actually like in these books. Hate him. I hate his personality type, the pompous, like, sort of, sort of charming and constantly flirting and wisecracking prince. I hate that personality type, so Nikolai... Just no, get him out of my book. Could have done without him. So happy he wasn't a love interest. Thank you, Lee. I would have been very, very pissed off if that had happened. And we've also got, <laughs> we have to have a wheel of time on popular opinion. I don't know why I picked up Dragon Reborn, but here we are. I, I'm not sure if this is unpopular, but I can't, can't stand Egwene and Elaine. There's so many other characters I can't stand but those are the two POVs that we have alongside the guys the main POVs and I can't stand them I mean if I knew them in real life I would probably want to murder them on the spot Elaine just 
where's the arc sis where is it it's gone it doesn't exist I read so much of your stupid, stupid storyline so that in book 13 you would just throw it all out the window and I would hate your guts. So no, Elaine can get the fuck out. And Egwene has her moments, but Egwene is only, only tolerable when she's alone. <laughs> Anytime she interacts with any of the other characters that are actually good, I want to punch her face. So yeah, she's okay when there's no one else likable around. When there's worse people around her, I do root for her. But as soon as, like, Ran shows up or Nynaeve or anyone else that I like, Egwene is just a dumpster fire and I can't stand her. So, yeah, that probably made a lot of people angry. Author you can't seem to get into. I mean, Sanderson, need I say more? I am never gonna read any more books by him. Don't want to, don't plan to, not gonna. And I'm not sure if I have anything else that just comes to mind like instantly like he does just not happening and Yeah, probably Sanderson. I don't think there's obviously all the other ones that I said I disliked I'm not gonna get into them, but Sanderson as an oh also King. I don't think I'll ever ever read anything that King wrote Yeah, probably so There you are then a book trip you're tired of now this one if you watched my last vlog, you probably know what I'm gonna say, and that is gangs. If there's anything I hate more in books, it's gangs <laughs> and like street lords, and I despise it. And mostly because it's usually done horribly. It's usually either kids or kids. Yeah, kids and gangs. I don't remember the last time that I read a book where it wasn't like 16 year olds. And I hate it. I mean, I hate it at any age. <laughs> but it just sucks. I hate that trope. I just can't get into it. Can't seem to care. Because it's usually also wrapped up in a storyline where the characters are so unlikable that you hate everyone, but you root for the one that you hate the least. And I hate those kinds of books. I guess that's what you would call great characters, though I don't agree with that definition. But I hate, I hate those kinds of storylines. And they're usually, usually in gang plots. Which is probably why I hate them. It's usually kids that suck and I couldn't care less if they died but there's people worse than them so I guess we have to root for them and I hate that trope so much. I want it to burn to death and if I never read a book like that again it would be too soon and I'm just <laughs> very salty because I read The Demon King. If you can't tell watch my last vlog if you want more content on this and let's just move on from this. Next prompt, we have a series or book that you have no interest in reading. Now, again, many options, but we have Nevernight. It's probably exactly what I just described. Characters that you hate, but they're the least hateable of the bunch. Don't want to read it. I got it for my birthday like two years ago, maybe a year ago, I think. That's why I have it, but I don't want to read it. I might be forced to, or I might be in a masochistic mood, but not, not, don't wanna. <laughs> I really don't wanna read it. And I'm trying to think anything popular. Popular, don't care. Uh, we've got First Law, and those two kind of are together because I don't care for grimdark or great characters or uh, war or any no don't care when I'm reading a fantasy I really don't want it to be realistic and dark and depressing and no, no thank you keep it out of my books reality is already bad enough as it is so yeah that's not happening stormline obviously I'm only mentioning that because I mean Sanderson obviously but that's very popular right now I think everyone is talking about it it's not gonna happen is there anything else that I'm completely not interested in? <laughs> Those are the ones that come to mind, but yeah, Jade War, I heard that's also about gangs, <laughs> not happening. I mean, you saw the rant that happened between this prompt and the last one, so yeah, not happening. I just remembered something. For characters that everyone seems to love, didn't hate this book. It was actually very well written. Liked it, even though it has all the tropes that I hate. But Locke, I hated his guts. No. <laughs> I mean, Jean, I think that's his name. 
because I read this like a year ago, was likable. So was Chains, but Locke. If I knew him in real life, bitch would die. That's all I have to say about him. And now we're down to the last prompt, which is the most controversial of the bunch. And I'm just gonna rehash some answers from a video I already did because I mean, my opinion hasn't changed that much. And that's, <sighs> rumor has it that books are always better than the movie. Is there a movie that you liked better than the book? And yes. There are several, <laughs> all of them are bound to make people angry, but the first one I haven't fetched the book because again, it's on my trash pile, just like Sanderson, and that book would be Narnia. I already talked about it, I don't think I need to repeat myself. Love the movies, grew up with them, they're masterpieces, I could watch them any day. The book can burn. <laughs> It can just burn in hell and I understand the irony of that statement. I hate it so much. And the next one we have is going to make a lot of people angry, which you're entitled to, but that's my opinion. The Hobbit. This book is just not readable. I can't. I mean, it's written in a way that has no emotion, no anything. It's just dryly told to you. I mean, he did tell this, I mean, to his kids as bedtime stories. It wasn't meant to be a book that actually makes the reader feel something. It's just very, very dry and emotionless and basically just words on paper, not a story. And what they actually made out of the movies, although granted there's a lot of crap in the movies too, I'll give you that. I mean, they're too long and there's the battle scenes. Let's not talk about that. But it adds the emotion and I actually grew to care about the characters. I mean, I cry every time at the end of the Battle of the Five Armies, so. This has no motion. The movie's actually got emotion out of me. They're gorgeous. So, love the movie more. And I mean, as a massive Lord of the Rings fan, <laughs> this sort of feels mean to say, but it is what it is. I can't, I can't lie on here. I can't, <laughs> I don't want to be that type of person. And the next one is also going to make everyone angry, which I keep repeating throughout this video, but City of Bones read it recently. I think, like, a couple months ago, I've watched a movie in theaters, I think, when it came out. I loved it. <laughs> Such a comfort movie for me to rewatch. I mean, it's trashy, but it's pretty and love the actors, and it's so fun to watch. This was not fun at all. Hated it. It was juvenile. It was stupid. Boring. <laughs> Didn't like any of the characters. So, yeah, I do prefer the movie, actually. I It was a bit weird reading the book after I'd watched the movie. I think probably everyone hated it because it was the other way, other way around. But I had a crap time with this book. Don't want to continue, though. I have book two. Love the movie. Love to rewatch it. It's really fun. And just easy and light. So, I mean, I can guess they are pretty <laughs> different. So I don't have to think of them as the same thing. But considering that I know everyone hated the movie... I really didn't like the book, so yeah, I do enjoy the movie. And that is it for controversial opinions right now because I already feel the hate coming through the screen, so. That about wraps it up, and that's it for this video. I, I was really salty, although I held back a lot because I don't want this to be too long and I don't want everyone to think that I'm just spewing hate around here, although I love to do it. I love, I have very strong opinions in regards to everything. So if you can relate, please do let me know. And if you like the video, be sure to, I don't know, comment and vehemently disagree or agree with me. And I was really happy to finally do this because I love this tag. I always love watching it and I literally start my videos with Welcome to the Realm of Popular Opinions, so it was kind of due. Enjoy doing it, and I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm just <laughs> need to cool off a little bit because I get really heated talking about things I dislike. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. And also, P.S. Just do, do watch my last vlog if you want more salt because I absolutely decimate the Demon King, so click above and bye bye.